Welcome to AC Lesson 3, Part 5. Dr. Ken here. Inductance in an AC circuit. Now, this diagram may look similar to our capacitive one, but it does work a little bit differently. It's actually the exact opposite or the inverse. So with an inductor, when an inductor is first connected to a DC voltage, the voltage across the inductor immediately rises to its maximum value while the current in the inductor starts at zero. This all has to do with magnetic fields because that's how an inductor stores energy. So if we look at our little diagram here, you can see our switch closes. We've got instantaneous voltage, but the voltage eventually decays away over time, but the current increases over time. And that's the exact opposite. In this particular case, it increases to one amp. That's because we have a 10 ohm resistor in series in the circuit, is why it bottoms out at one amp. If it didn't, it would just keep climbing. So here we're storing energy in the form of a magnetic field around the inductor. And it creates this effect of the voltage rises instantaneously, then decays away with time. Of course, that time is milliseconds or nanoseconds, and the current increases with time. So this is going to create a phase shift between the current and the voltage. And you can see here is our blue voltage waveform, and you can see our current is 90 degrees behind. When the voltage here is at its maximum, the current is actually at its minimum. And then when the voltage is at its minimum, the current is at its maximum. So the current is kind of playing catch up all the time. If we draw that as a phasor diagram over here, we can see our voltage on the horizontal, our current for the inductor vertically down. Because our phasor is rotating anti-clockwise, this means the current will always lag the voltage by minus 90 degrees. I think they should have put a minus next to that 90. It's minus 90 degrees. So this uh, display demonstrates current lags the voltage by 90 degrees in a purely inductive AC circuit. So what's the problem? Why do inductors cause this phase shift of minus 90 degrees? Well, it all comes down to energy stored electromagnetically, which is very different to how a capacitor stores energy. That energy is stored and released in the opposite direction. With capacitors, it's stored and released in the same direction. In a inductor, it's the opposite direction. The reason for that is a thing called Lenz's Law. And if we look at this magnetic field, the magnetic field expands. And then when the voltage drops, the magnetic field collapses. But as the magnetic field collapses, it induces another voltage and another EMF and some more current in the opposite direction. And it's that what we call, it's actually called back EMF. So as the back EMF of the magnetic field begins to collapse, that feeds back into the circuit. But it's all too late. It's 90 degrees too late. And by the time it's got back into the circuit, the voltage and the magnetic field is building up in the opposite direction again. So it's Lenz's law that says whenever a magnetic field collapses, it will oppose or go the opposite direction to the original current that established that magnetic field. So that is why we end up with this 90 degree shift. As the current crosses zero, the voltage is at its maximum. And when the current is at its maximum, the voltage is at its minimum. So we create this phase shift of 90 degrees, all because of Lenz's law and the fact that inductors store their energy as magnetic fields.